Well, the next adventure has begun, and uh, sorry for coming at you guys after dark, but no, I'm not, actually, no, I'm not. But hey, it makes sense. I'm coming at you after dark, putting lights on the tractor. Still haven't decided on a name. Uh, Rita kind of sounded good today. I have to check that with the wife. Rita, for some reason, sounded good, but I might say that's too much if you got Rita and Rosie, but I don't know, I kind of like Rita. Anyway, so uh, I got these little lights. These are actually 48 watt uh, from the excavator when I did it. Um, it was 27 watt. I went to order the same 27 watt lights and they were sold out on Amazon. So I got the 48 watts. 10 pack cost me like 70 bucks instead of 60 bucks for the 27s, I think. So a couple more dollars, 10 more dollars. Um, honestly, I didn't want the 48s because I found with the excavator that the 27s were so bright. I don't, darn sure I didn't need 48s, but hey, now we're going to be really, really bright. So I was just going to show you what I'm doing anyway. Um, I went ahead and put two on the brush guard um, on the front. For, I just kind of did this goof around. I pitched one down and one up. Um, not that I really ever need to see up in the air when I'm using the tractor, but I'm thinking the one down is going to be so stinking bright that I pitched the one up just for grins, but I really don't know that I need two. Um, but I got them, so put them on here. So those are on the front. Um, for the bucket, I want one too because I was reading a couple other people said said, and this makes perfect sense, of course, that the headlights tend to be in just the wrong spot. That when you're traveling with stuff in the bucket, you can't see where you're going because it blocks the light. So I'm going to put two more. I'm going to put them right here. I think these are actually lifting eyes. I'm pretty sure. For if you ever have to take the the bucket off for servers or something like that, I don't know why else there'd be those holes. But I'm going to put one on either side here and then one over there and put them coming out sideways. Um, but to do that, I've got to get um, a couple of fender washers because this hole is way too big. It'll it'll pull the, the nut and the bolt through. Um, I learned that on the excavator. So I'll get a couple of fender washers to go on either side of this big hole just to kind of shrink it down to the right size. So I'll do one on either side on the front. Now the trick with those is I've got to do some quick quick connects on them because when I, if I ever go to take the bucket off, or the front end loader, I'm sorry, if I ever go to take the front end loader off, I don't know why they got blurry on you. Come on, come on. Oh no. Shoot, I don't know why it's messing up. There it goes, come on, come into focus. Ah, there it is, hey, we found it, okay. So if I ever go take the front end loader off, I need to be able to leave those lights with the loader, so uh, the wiring for them will run here along the main beam and then back here to the pivot point, um, which is right there, I guess, somewhere in there. Um, and then I'll have to put a little uh, quick connect right there. So I'll have to run some wires along the frame, and I can do it on this side or the other side. I haven't really decided yet, but probably actually on the other side because I'm going to try to wire them into the factory light switch. But to do that, I'll show you. To use the factory light switch. I have to open up this panel. Here's the factory light switch here. I don't know what part of it controls what, but um, yeah, I've got to take off this shield to get to that. And this bolt for this mud shield, I guess it is, appears to go through it. Maybe it snaps around, I don't know, but I haven't screwed with it yet. I really don't want to, um, but I will eventually. So. I might cheat right now and just gator clip them on the battery for now, but I really would, for a clean install, I'd like to put them off the, the factory light switch eventually. Um, other than that, on the back, I've got this one little dinky light that the prior owner put on there, that little guy. Uh, and that's actually nice. It's, it's, it's actually fuse linked in with the key. So it, like I leave the switch on all the time, uh, but it only turns on when the key is on. And I just leave it on all the time. But I'm gonna do two more lights back here and I'm gonna do them up here, just like how I did on the front of the front end loader, I'm gonna do them up here. But I've gotta get some fender washers. So do one on either side, one here, and one on the outside over there. I don't intend to ever flip this roll bar down. That's why these holes are here. And so you can take this bolt out, pivot the roll bar down, and then pin it back in place through there. But I have zero expectations of ever flipping that thing down. In fact, if I'm ever to do anything, I'm probably gonna put a canopy up top. Um, so yeah, I don't, I, I'm not ever gonna be like mowing low under trees or anything like that where I need to flip it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt them on there. So that'll give me a total of six lights on the tractor, uh, which is gonna be way, way more than enough. Um, I might find that I only wanna do, you know, one back here 
but like I said, I've got the lights, no point in, in straggling. But that'll only leave me four for the dump truck, which is, uh, not sure how I like that. Um, so I might maybe spare one off the tractor or something like that, but I'd like on the dump truck, this is getting off topic, but on the dump truck, I wanna be able to put two on the front. Actually, no, on the dump truck, I'm gonna do two on the front, one on the back, and then I wanna put one up in the dump bed so I can see in the bed when I'm loading. But like I said, that's, that's off topic. So that would use up the last four, and that would use up all the lights that I have. I think I have 127 watt maybe left over, but I think I might have scavenged some parts off of it, so I have to get some bolts or something to use it. Anyway, just wanted to show you what I was up to. Um, this is all I'm going to do for tonight is put these two on the front because I don't have those fender washers. So, they are on and done. I'll clean up some trash here and uh, go to town and get them fender washers at some point and keep her going. Okay, so I showed you the uh <clears throat> two little lights on the front last night just came out here tonight and got the rest of them put on i uh, got two on the back here and then i've got two that i said i put out there on the boom now yeah, there's one i'll walk you around there and show them to you in just a second but i was going to show you what i had to do um <clears throat> i think i mentioned i had to get some fender washers so <clears throat> i had to get a bigger fender washer to go on either side of this hole because see this hole is just way too big this this nut would pull right through it um so the fender washer on either side effectively shorten that down and, you, and the factory bolt they sent it's about an inch and a quarter or an inch it was still plenty long enough to to do that mount so i had to do that on these and on the ones on the boom i'll show you but i've got these two on the back just facing straight back that's going to be way more than enough to light up anything i'm doing here in the back uh, especially in addition to this little guy that's kind of tilted down looking at my three points and i can maybe tilt it down a little bit more if i want yeah there you go just turn that one down a little more and actually i've got this one's actually tied in with, with the factory lights or just with the fuse link in general. Um, I mentioned it only comes on when I turn the key on, but the point being I could just tap into these wires with this wire. Of course, they're not quite long enough, and I could activate the whole system just off of that. I'm not sure that I want to. Um, this one here is tapped off of the factory harness uh, right here, factory wire. So, Maybe it's just coming off. Maybe the tractor has like just basic running lights. Um, and that's what they tapped into because I don't think the headlight switch is on uh, in order to make those work. And I don't know. I think my brake lights do work. I don't think the blinkers work. And I don't think these reverse lights work. So like I said, I don't know how much I want to get into trying to chase the factory wires versus just throwing my own on. Um, but at some point I do need to go through and, and check fuses and whatnot. But let me show you the ones on the front here. Put these two out on the boom so one here and one on the other side and i've got them uh panned out just a little bit which i can adjust them once i get them turned on and tested but see they're they're shining so they'll focus down on what the bucket is actually doing um and they'll they'll push further out past the bucket because no matter what height the bucket's at these will always shine over it and then these the ones i put on the brush guard of course they're going to be blocked by the bucket so they're going to be more about what's right down right in front of me so anyway just want to show you the mount on those i've got wire i'm going to start running some wires and um maybe i can get a few of them because the battery's right there so maybe i can test these four on the front tonight just for grands just to see how bright they are okay here's your grand reveal we got uh got little rita here finally all lit up I don't know if I think I mentioned maybe one of the videos I had to think of a good name. We finally decided we're going to name her Rita. So that brings my fleet to uh, Rosie, Wilbur, and Rita. You know, you got to name your equipment. If you don't give them a name, they don't trust you and they don't work for you. So this is it. By golly. You know, I'm thinking the 48-watt lights would be a lot better than the 27s on the estimator. And I don't know. Maybe they are, but it's hard to tell, really. If we look down here, that's, uh, I mean, that's easy 50 yards down there, and you can see the beehives lit up can't see them clearly but you can see them down there I can see better than what y'all can see on the camera I can see every individual tree on past the beehives but anyway so you know I kind of already showed you guys how I had to lay out two on the front here to be the primaries two up on the boom which they're angled to point towards the bucket so right now they're actually pointing up <laughs> they're lighting the trees up so they're plenty bright there and then uh two on the back with those light up I mean the whole back driveway is all lit up I'm actually a little concerned if I take this thing down the road at night, which I don't really plan on, but if I were to, um, somebody comes upon me, I mean, these things are, woo -hoo -hoo. 
they're bright, buddy. They blind you. So I, right now, I turned them actually, I turned the two back ones out a little bit. They're a flood beam combo, so um, you guys obviously can't tell, but I, I had them facing straight back, and they would have been blind to me right now. So I turned them out, and they're really not nearly as bad. It's surprising how much of a difference that made. And you're still lit up plenty fine back here behind it, so I think that'll be fine. But I'll just see if I can uh, lower the boom down. Now, I don't have my proper gator clips on the battery. So I just have the wire touching the terminal. So let's see if we let this down. Hopefully they won't, they won't wiggle loose and uh, disconnect. If we let that down, see, now here's the issue. See the shadow from the bucket? The bucket blocks out those main, those primary lights. But that's why you have the boom lights. Because even though I've got the big shadow on the ground from the bucket, on out past it, the boom lights are lighting up everything. So that's that's the whole point why I did that. I hope that made sense. But I wanted to show that to you in real real life. You know, like I said, that's, without those boom lights, I'd be totally blacked out right now because the headlights would be, you know, you see the back of the bucket real nice, but the headlights would have been all blacked out. So, like I said, hopefully that makes a little better sense as to why I did it that way. I think it probably does. And it uh, looks like I've got to put my wires cut loose. I didn't have to, I got to zip tie that, I don't have to zip tie it, so. Anyway, that's it, like I said, it's looking good. I'm super happy about it. I'm gonna go ahead and get that tied up. You get Rosie or Rita, Rita, get Rita. Woo! Don't use the wrong names, they'll get pissy with you. We'll get Rita shut down here, go in the house, and go to bed. <laughs>